Hello everyone, myself Pankaj. Welcome to Being Fish Co. In this video, we will talk about MCQs of Fisheries Economics. This is part 2. Part 1 I have already uploaded and now this is part 2 which will cover more MCQs related to Fisheries Economics. So let's start with MCQs of Fisheries Economics. First question, that is the desire to buy a commodity and it should be supported with necessary money or purchasing power. So demand is the desire to buy a commodity. Next, hypothetical schedule or statement of quantity of a commodity likely to be demanded at a given time at various places so it is demand schedule next the curve represents a fixed situation and it cannot indicate changes over a period of time so it is demand curve next question purchase of commodity is influenced by several factors which are called so they are known as determinants demand function equals qd equals f pi py y and t then next, a change in price of commodity is followed by a change in quantity demanded. This is known as elasticity of demand. When the coefficient of elasticity exceeds 1, the demand is known as elastic demand that is greater than 1. Then next, when the coefficient of elasticity is less than 1, the demand is known as inelastic demand that is less than 1. When the coefficient of elasticity of demand is equal to 1, the demand is called as unitary elastic demand that is equal to 1. Next, coefficient of elasticity of demand is 0, it is known as perfectly inelastic demand. Next question, coefficient of elasticity of demand is infinite, it is said to be perfectly elastic demand. Next, the quantity of commodity offered for a sale at some price at a particular time in a given market is called, so it is called as supply. A change in quantity demanded is followed by change in price of commodity, this is known as elasticity of supply. The point of intersection between demand and the supply denotes the price of commodity. This price is known as market equilibrium price. Cobb-Webb theorem can apply to the prices and production of commodities whose production is that is discontinuous life annual crop. Price and output get a closer and close to the equilibrium when it is damped oscillation. The curve is a locus of various combination of two commodities which yield the same total satisfaction to the consumer so it is indifference curve. The sum of total expenditure on variable input it is known as total variable cost. Average total variable cost is defined as total variable cost upon amount of product produced. Average fixed cost is defined as total fixed cost upon output. Sum of total variable cost and total fixed cost is known as total cost. Average total cost is obtained by total cost upon output. Dash is a division of economics deals with distribution or exchange of goods produced. So it is marketing. It denotes a place where buyers and sellers meet and exchange goods and services. So it is a market is a place where buyers and sellers meet to exchange their goods. In which market buyers and sellers are aware of price at which transaction is to take place and the price of commodity will tend to be same. So it is perfect market. Market at which buyers and sellers not aware of offers made by others and price of commodity will be changed at different price. So it is imperfect market. Product market structure characterized by single seller of a commodity. So it is monopoly. Product market structure characterized by two seller of a commodity. It is duopoly. Product market structure characterized by few seller of a commodity it is oligopoly. Net worth statement is also known as balance sheet. Anything of value owned by an individual or a firm so it is assets. Ratio between total assets and total liabilities is net capital ratio. Net capital ratio is also called as solvency ratio. Solvency ratio indicates so it indicates strength of business. Debts owned by an individual or firm to other is known as liability. Ratio between total liability and net worth is called debt equity ratio. Ratio between the sum of current and intermediate of assets and liabilities is working capital ratio. Ratio between current assets and current liabilities is current ratio. A statement of expense and increase of an individual or firm during particular period it is known as income statement. Income statement is also called as profit and loss statement. It shows the financial condition and stability of the business so it is balance sheet. Next taxes are classified into so it is classified into direct tax, direct tax and indirect tax. Direct tax is also known as so it is also known as personal taxation. Indirect tax is also known as it is also known as commodity taxation. Commercial banks are also called as joint stock bank. 
इट शोज द फंक्शन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट दैट इज प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन आइटम ऑफ कॉस्ट डज नॉट वेरी विथ आउटपुट और प्रोडक्शन सो इट इज फिक्सड कॉस्ट नेक्स्ट इट रिफर्स द अपेरेंट लॉस इन द वैल्यू ऑफ कम्युनिटी ड्यू टू वियर एंड टीयर सो इट इज डेप्रिशिएशन इट इज अड्यूल ऑफ कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर सो इट इज प्रोपेंसिटी टू इनकम द मैथमेटिकल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टोटल कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर एंड डिटर्मिनेंट इज कंजम्पन फंक्शन टोटल डिस्पोजेबल इनकम इज रेफर टू एस नेट इनकम माइनस टैक्सी स्पीड नाबार्ड वॉज एस्टेब्लिश ड्यूरिंग द ईयर नाइनटीन एटी टू जी एन पी इज द इंडिकेटर ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एन इकोनॉमी माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स रिफर टू द प्राइस थ्योरी माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स रिफर टू द इनकम थ्योरी ओके क्रेडिट रिफर्स टू अमाउंट बॉरोड क्रेडिट रिफर्स टू अमाउंट बॉरोड क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन कैरेक्टर ऑफ पर्सन बिकॉज ऑफ क्रेडिट बर्डन ऑन मेटेलिक मनी इज डेट इज रिड्यूस्ड बिकॉज ऑफ क्रेडिट बर्डन मेटेलिक मनी इज रिड्यूस्ड क्रेडिट मे एनकरेज सो इट इन मे एनकरेज एक्स्ट्रा वैगेंस वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन केम इन टू फोर्स इन मेजर प्रपोर्शन ऑफ एडवांसेज बाई आर आर बीज इज टू वीकर सेक्शन एग्रीकल्चर फाइनेंस कॉरपोरेशन वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन सो इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन एग्रीकल्चर रिफाइंस एंड डेवलपमेंट कॉरपोरेशन वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन क्रेडिट मेक्स कैपिटल सो इट मेक्स कैपिटल प्रोडक्टिव रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया वॉज सेटअप इन इट वॉज सेटअप इन नाइनटीन थर्टी फाइव रूरल क्रेडिट सर्वे कमिटी वॉज सेटअप इन इट वॉज सेटअप इन नाइनटीन एस एफ डी ए एंड एम ए एफ एल एजेंसीज वॉज सजेस्टेड बाय सो इट वॉज सजेस्टेड बाय रूरल क्रेडिट रिव्यू कमिटी आर सी आर सी रूरल क्रेडिट रिव्यू कमिटी एस एफ डी एज कवर्ड ओनली सो इट हैज कवर्ड ओनली सेलेक्टेड डिस्ट्रिक्ट नेक्स्ट मार्जिनल फार्मर इज अ फार्मर हैविंग साइज ऑफ होल्डिंग लेस देन सो दे हैव साइज ऑफ होल्डिंग लेस देन वन हेक्टेयर स्मॉल फार्मर इज अ फार्मर हैविंग साइज ऑफ होल्डिंग लेस देन सो दे हैव लेस देन फाइव एकर्स these are small farmers with the size holding less than 5 acre and marginal farmer with the size holding less than 1 hectare okay so that's all for this video this is part 2 of mcqs of fisheries economics okay okay thanks for your patience keep sharing the video milte next video mein till then stay safe